My name is Ula Justice, and I'm here to demonstrate how to complete a full pre-trip in 30 minutes or less. So when you approach the bus, you're looking for the leans, you're looking for any leaks and any obstructions hanging down below. So then you enter the bus, and you look up here for your emergency packet, and it should have your registration card and your insurance card and your insurance. This one expires July 1st, 2015. You take your registration, you match it up with your CHP 292 inspection certificate, and you're looking at the VIN numbers to match as well as the license plate. <clears throat> and while you're here, you're checking the capacity. This one is an 84 passenger. Last inspected, 10-27-2014, and next inspection is 11-27-2015, 13 months. And then you check the VIN number for on the placard as well to match the registration. Then you put it away. So now we come back to the engine compartment. Open it up. Turn on the engine lights. You check with the engine coolant to make sure it's level. Check the fans for no obstructions. Hoses and clamps are secure. Engine oil must be checked with the engine off. Pull out the dipstick, clean it, put it back in. And it is level. The belt, no excessive play, no cracks or frays. Air filter is in the green, and you check the transmission and the power steering with the engine running. So then you enter the bus, turn on your clearance lights, your amber lights, your headlights, high beams, and your four-way flashers. Turn the engine on. You get up here and you find your tire thumper and then you exit the bus. And you check your mirror brackets and make sure they're secure. Check in the mirrors for no cracks or pits. So now we're going to check our clearance lights and our amber lights to be on and working. School bus to be clean and legible. Windows for no cracks or pits. Windshield wipers to be secure and the rubbers no frays. Four-way hazards are on and working. 31 is clean and legible. High beams and headlights, parking lights are on and working. Bumper is secure. License plate is secure and clean and legible. I'm going to check this side of the bus for three clearance lights to be on and working. Panels and rivets to be secure. No cracks and pits in the windows. Four-way hazards to be on and working. And three reflectors to be on and secure. So using a W motion, I'm going to start from the top bring it down to the bottom. 31 is clean and legible. Tire guard is secure. Tire pressure is good. Mud flap is secure. Tread depth no less than 430 seconds in each major groove. Tires are even. No bumps, bubbles, or bruises. Rims, no cracks or rust. Lug nuts are secure. Hub nuts are secure and oil level is good and valve stem is secure. Luggage compartments are secure. Marietta Valley Unified School District, California 49266. Emergency exit and instructions are clean and legible. <clears throat> Luggage compartments are secure. Open up the emergency exit. I have an audible. There's no obstruction. Seal is secure. Emergency exit and instructions are clean and legible. Tire guard is secure. Tire pressure is good. No obstructions between the duals. Mud flaps are secure. Tread depth no less than 230 seconds in each major groove. Tires are even, no bumps, bubbles, or bruises. Rims, 
cracks and rust. Lug nuts are secure. Hub nuts are secure. And valve stem in each tire is secure. Come to the rear of the bus. <clears throat> and with the engine running, you're going to check the transmission fluid by pulling it out. Clean it. Stick it back in. And it is level. Check the power steering. Clean it. And it is level. <clears throat> Shut the engine down. Okay, the rear of the bus, you're going to check your clearance lights, your amber lights to be on and working, school bus, emergency exit, clean and legible, windows, no cracks or pits, four way hazards on and working, tail lights on and working, stop when red lights flash, 31 is clean and legible, license plate. Light is on and working. License plate is secure and legible. Reflectors are secure. Bumper is secure. And the tailpipe not sticking out no more than two inches. So then you come around to the right side of the bus and you're checking for three clearance lights to be on and working. Panels and rivets to be secure. Windows, no cracks or pits. Four-way hazards on and working. And three reflectors to be on and secure. So again, the W motion from the top to the bottom. You're gonna go here, and this is your battery compartment. Open it up. Make sure it's secure. Check underneath the lids here for any corrosion or rust, and there are none. Tire guard is secure. Tire pressure is good. No obstructions in the duals. Mud flaps are secure no less than two thirty seconds in each major groove the tires are even no bumps bubbles or bruises rims no cracks or rust lug nuts are secure hub nuts are secure and valve stem in each tire is secure marietta unified School District, Emergency Exit, Instructions, California 49266, clean and legible. Luggage compartments are secure. Luggage compartments are secure. Emergency Exit, I have an audible. Seals are secure, no obstructions. Emergency Exit and Instructions are clean and legible. Luggage compartments are secure. Diesel is clean and legible, and the cap is secure. Tire guard is secure. Tire pressure is good. Mud flaps are secure. No less than four thirty seconds in each major groove. Tires are even. No bumps, bubbles, or bruises. Rims, no cracks or rust. Lug nuts are secure. Hub nuts are secure. And oil level is good, and valve stem is secure. 31 is clean and legible. Okay. So then you enter the bus, you cancel your ambers, turn on your reds, cancel your four-way flashers, turn on your left turn signal. Okay. Then you take your tire thumper, stick it under the service brake. There. The turn, um, Gear selector in reverse. Okay. Come to the front of the bus again, and you're looking for your red lights to be on and working with the engine off, left turn signal to be on and working, and your headlights to be on and working, low beams. So you're checking for your left turn signals to be on and working, your arm lights to be on and working on each side and the lettering to be clean and legible.
So then you come to the rear of the bus and you're checking for your reds to be on and working with the engine off, left turn signal on and working, brake lights on and working, backup lights to have an audio and a visual. You put your gear selector in neutral. You take your tire thumper out and put it away. Okay. Cancel your left turn signal, activate your right turn signal, and you turn the engine on. So now you're checking the reds with the engine running. Make sure they're on and working and the right turn signal on and working. So now you're checking the right side lights, turn signal to be on and working. So you come to the rear of the bus. You're checking your reds to be on and working with the engine on and your right turn signal to be on and working. Okay. So now you're checking the entrance door for the windows to have no cracks or pits. Checking the seals to be secure. Checking the step well to be clean, no obstructions. Handrail to be secure and the modesty panel to be secure. So as you're coming up, Checking your handrail, modesty panel to be secure. Close your emergency release, and then you open it up again, and you test it to make sure that it works. So then you just come in, you turn off your right turn signal, and turn off your reds. Then you check your handheld stop sign. They're secure, and it's legible. Then you're checking the floors to be clean, Checking the seat backs, seat bottoms to be secure, and the rivets and panels to be secure, and no missing screws. So the emergency exit, just lift up the red handle, push out. I have an audio, and I have a visual. Okay. So then you have this emergency exit. You open it up by picking up the red lever. I have an audio, and I have a visual. Continue back, check in your chairs. So then you're checking for any obstructions in the front and the rear of the heater. And you have an emergency exit and instructions are clean and legible. Lift up the red lever. I have an audio and a visual. Okay, so now you check a window on each side of the bus to make sure that it's working properly. Checking all your dome lights, checking your panels and rivets to be secure, checking your emergency hatch and instructions to be clear and legible. Open it up. I have an audible and a visual. Shut it back down. And then you check your second emergency hatch for instructions and lettering to be clean and legible open it up, have an audible and a visual, and shut it back down. Okay, you have three emergency reflectors here. You bring it out immediately at dusk or dawn, or 10 minutes after a breakdown, and you set it up like so, and the instructions are clean and legible on each side and you rotate them daily. You have your fire extinguisher. The arrow's in the green. There's no obstructions in the nozzle. The seal and the pin is secure. Must be an 8BC. This is a 10BC. It was last inspected March 29, 2015, and it expires March 29, 2016. In case of an emergency, we pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze, and sweep. <clears throat> Your first aid kit, this is an 84 passenger, must have 24 units. You open it up. You're checking the seal for any dust or moisture, and it's clean and free of them. Should have 24 units, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Mix 24. So then you sit in your seat and you're checking all of your panels and everything on it. You got your mirror defroster, your heater pump, your rear domes, your front dome lights, your clearance lights, your amber lights, your reds, your windshield wipers, windshield wiper fluid, your door, all your fans, your rear heater and your front heater, and you have your retarder here. So then you're checking your panel for your transmission <clears throat> temperature, your front and rear air tank, your fuel tank, speedometer, odometer, your RPM tachometer, oil pressure, water temperature, and your voltage. You got your cruise control here, have your headlights here, parking lights there, panel lights, your high idle. So over here you have all of your vents and your defroster for your driver area, your gear selector, key ignition, your parking brake, your throttle, service brake. So then you check in your steering wheel and it just adjust it to me. On this panel here, you can see your left turn signal, your right turn signal, your high beams, your four-way flashers. You can also see your um, engine emergency light and your low air warning device. And then you're checking your sun visor to be clean and secure. So you have four mirrors required by law. You have your two flat mirrors that you must see an inch of plane of the bus, 200 feet to the rear and the tires touching the ground. You have your outside crossover mirrors that you could see the entire front of the bus and beyond. And so your inside mirror, you're supposed to see the first seat all the way to the last seat to the emergency exits. You want to check your seat belt to make sure it's adjusted to you and it works properly. And then you want to make sure that your seat is adjusted to you. Okay, so now we're going to start with our air governor cut in and cut out. And it, air governor must cut in by 85 PSI and must cut out at 130. While we were pre-tripping, um, it already cut out. So we're just gonna make sure by giving it a little bit of acceleration to see if the needles are gonna move. Okay, and they're steady, they're not moving. So now we're going to establish the cut in. Must cut in by 85 PSI. And so you're gonna release by Release some air by pressing on the service pedal and then giving a little bit of acceleration. The needles are still stable. We're going to do it again. Release some more air. Okay. There's no movement in the needles still. Still no movement. All right. Accelerate up to about 1300 to 1500 RPMs. And the air governor cut in at 100 PSI in both tanks. And now we're gonna establish the air governor cut out. It should cut out by 130 PSI. Okay and it cut out in each tank at 120 PSI. Okay, so now we're gonna do the static test and you stabilize the needles and you can't lose no more than two PSI in one minute and we're gonna start now. It's been a full minute and the needles haven't moved and there has been no air leaks. Okay, so now we're gonna do the applied brake test and with that we're gonna apply the service pedal, release the air brakes, stabilize the needles, 
Wait for a full minute and we can't lose no more than three PSI in one minute. And I'm listening for air leaks in the hoses and diaphragms. Okay, it's been one minute and there are no leaks. So now we're gonna check the low air warning device and emergency stopping system. The low air warning device must activate by 60 PSI and all pressures below. Turn the ignition to the on position and we're gonna release air out of the front tank. The low air warning device activated at 65 PSI and all pressures below. Okay, so all the air has been depleted. We're gonna move the bus and we're gonna use the service brake to stop and the rear tank is holding. So then you build both tanks back up to 100 PSI and a little bit over it. So turn the engine back on the on position. And then um, we're going to check the rear tank for the low air warning device to activate at 60 PSI and all pressures below. Low air warning device activated at 70 PSI and all pressures below. So all the air has depleted in the rear tank and the front tank is still holding. We're gonna move the bus and stop it using the service pedal. And the front tank is holding us. Okay. Yeah. So now we're gonna build both tanks back up to over 100 PSI, a little bit over. Then we're gonna move the bus forward using the park brake to stop us. So both tanks are up to a little over 100 PSI. We're gonna move the bus forward and we're gonna stop using our park brake and our park brake is holding us. We're gonna make two complete stops before picking up any students. And that completes our pre-trip.